Welcome to episode 109 of the Shifted Lands LARP rulebook unofficial. Uh, today we're going to go over the basic martial skills. We're going to go over knavery and weapon mastery. These are both martial skills that are fundamentals of how you will be fighting with weapons, essentially. If you'd like to be a knight, or if you'd like to fight with a sword and be an assassin, if you'd like to anything, if you're fighting with swords or weapons as opposed to magic, then you will be using these skills. Um, if you go look at episode 102, I talk about the concept of how knavery turns into rogue and how weapon mastery turns into adept through the use of foci. Those are that's fundamental to understanding how this works. I would recommend if you are curious as to how you further advance your character that you go look at episode 102. Today, we're going to do a more in-depth focus on the actual skills themselves. Uh, but first, we're going to take a look at just all of the martial skills, because knavery and weapon mastery and the foci aren't technically the only martial skills that you can pick up, such as proficiencies with weapons or a group of weapons. So we're going to look at proficiency specializations and backstabs, essentially add plus damage to your swing. If you see on the right here, this chart goes for a very long time. You might be like, why are there so many weird skills that add one damage? It's important to cover this because you don't technically need to build knavery or build weapon mastery to increase the amount of damage that you swing. You can be stupidly proficient in uh, a specific weapon. Proficiencies specializations and backstabs are defined by your hand that you're swinging with and the weapon that you're swinging so for example if we look at the first skill backstab broad one-handed edged weapons with your right hand right that's in its 12 build gives you 3.6 body they can swing for a weapon for plus two damage as long as they're behind them proficiency master left hand or right hand there's a see how these are all labeled left hand there is an equivalent for the exact same thing with right hand being does plus one damage for the chosen weapon type for example if i wanted to spend 13 build i could swing plus one damage and choose a weapon type the skill is not tagged and is hand specific. The skill does not work with claws or bite. The skill may be purchased multiple times. Claws and bite are their own proficiency. You can go specifically get a proficiency for them. So taking proficiency master in your left hand applies plus one damage for every weapon essentially in your left hand. So if you're using a sword in your left hand, it will add one damage. And because it is so broad, because it is just all weapons that is why this build this costs 13 build if this was a three build skill or a five build skill it would be insane um some of these skills are kind of 10 damage but they're very specific or 10 build but they're very specific um essentially what you're going to see is a minimum of plus one and plus uh two damages because stacking damage in shifted lands is very good so therefore it cannot be extremely cheap otherwise it would be just the optimal route you wouldn't even pick up weapon mastery and all that i mean you would still want defenses so you would there's none of this helps you defend yourself from other people hitting you with big numbers but it's it's nichely good um i wouldn't worry if i was making a new character i would not pick up a proficiency or a backstab or a specialization i would not come anywhere close to this part of the system it's cool and there are niche uses for it there are big characters that have a load of backstabs and specializations and proficiencies and they're they're better off for it but to start with your character creation and be worrying about all this stuff it is not important i would call i would go as far as to call it a waste of build you have very limited build in your early character creation and you shouldn't be spending it on these skills do what you want nobody's gonna stop you but it would be an unwise decision to go into these things essentially plus one damage starts at 13 build and then the narrower it gets 
it goes the damage increases and the build goes down because you're specializing it's not just i pick up any weapon and i do a bunch of, a bunch of extra damage it's i pick up this specific weapon and now i do a bunch of extra damage so the more specific and the more requirements that go into the proficiency backstab so like now you have to be behind the person and be using a specific weapon in a specific hand now you can get plus two damage and it only costs 10 build every single combination you can think of exists here in every weapon type in the game and in every hand and in every proficiency backstab or specialization exists here enough of that we're gonna go to knavery and weapon mastery i think we're gonna start off with weapon mastery because it's a little bit easier to understand than knavery 